But first, one person is dead and three others were shot, including a young child. Detroit police are releasing a photo of who they think is responsible. And thank you for joining us for this special edition of Local 4 News at Noon online at clickondetroit.com. I'm Everard Casimir. Police need your help in tracking down the suspects in yesterday's shooting on Detroit's west side. And they say this, this newer black Infiniti SUV is responsible for the shooting. Four men were inside and investigators believe only two of them fired shots. It happened around 630 Thursday on Calvert Avenue right near the Lodge Freeway. And we have learned that a 51 year old man was killed. A six year old boy and two other people, a 22 year old and a 38 year old are in stable condition. New at noon, a 16 year old is in the hospital after being hit by a car in Redford. Sky 4 was there over the scene around 6 this morning at Telegraph in West Chicago. Sources are telling local 4 that the teen was crossing Telegraph when the car hit him. We're told that he is expected to survive. Right now, police are still looking for the car and the driver that left the scene without stopping. So if you know anything, please contact Redford Police. Another son of legendary Michigan football coach Bo Schembechler is coming forward saying that he does not believe his brother's story. It comes in response to Matt Schembechler claiming publicly that Bo not only ignored the abuse of Dr. Robert Anderson, but also got angry and physical when he was alerted of the sexual abuse back in 1969. Matt came forward on Thursday with two former U of M football players. All of them shared similar stories. Bo's temper was legendary and he lost it. He screamed, I don't want to hear this. I'm not hearing this. I tried to tell him repeatedly, but my effort earned me a punch in the chest. This is the beginning and the end of the relationship with him. Glenn Schembechler, Matt's brother, tells ESPN, quote, my heart goes out to the victims, but I know for certain that if Bo were here, he'd feel the same way. He would have gone to any lengths to help his players. 